Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome as well. Of course, I brought you guys closer and you can see a very pimple that is there on earth. But that is okay because that is not about that today. Today we are reviewing a product by another South African woman and it is um called and it's called fair beauty guys like i know right it sounds familiar it sounds like fenty beauty so it's called fair beauty or fay beauty i don't know you guys it has that thing on top my package is here and it looks something like this y'all like can you see how beautiful the packaging is it's like a um bag <laughs> yeah and the bag is written Fay beauty cosmetics it looks something like that i like the color that it's coming in with it looks luxurious 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 so we've got the fair liner um and it's got some ingredients if you are interested i'll just put the ingre ingredients on screen so let me just open because when i was checking online yo it said it come in two colors but i couldn't select whether i want dark brown or light brown so that was like a bit difficult so at the back it has color number two so i guess uh they chose for me or something like that so when you open this side it comes with a spoolie which i really like it's this spoolie right here and on the other side it's got oh the pencil itself and the pencil is like angled in a way i'm not sure if you guys can see that so let me just take the other side of the spoolie and start working on my brows so anyways i'm just gonna brush my brows up as usual usually i use a spoolie from a mascara or just a toothbrush so i did actually try to twist but i am not good at that department so i'm just gonna close and open the other side so this is how much you actually get for this product I uh this is really applying black it's just rubbing everything i'm not sure if you guys can see let me just apply on my come on like let's keep on drawing it's really like i'm not winning with this pencil y'all it's more like just painting my brows in a way like <sighs> so you guys i came to the natural light to show you how this thing is applying i swear you guys i never ever in my life draw brows this dark okay even if they are dark at least they are like i sort of mimic the individual hairs going on but with this pencil yo you can't do that you have to be harsh with it it's not precise at all guys like if you have bought this please uh, let me know how to use this oh i'm probably not using it correctly like hello it's like i'm just smudging pencil Jay, these are like the don'ts of drawing eyebrows but anyways i think a concealer can save this that is the only way to go but if you're a beginner and you can't even save your brows this is gonna be very harsh like i don't really like i do go in with harsh brows i always do that but they don't look bad they don't look intense like in like it doesn't look like i use crayon on my brows at all i'm now going to use the bra the pencil from china mall <laughs> so that you guys can compare and decide for yourselves whether you want to go cheap or luxurious so i'm just gonna actually use her spoolie i mean the spoolie is really great it's working wonderful i mean it's brushing my brows well so now i am going in with my china mall uh pencil that i'm using here i'm sorry you guys to compare this product to china mall products but anyways um i want to show you guys what i'm talking about like this pencil first of all is not too dark it allows me to actually draw individual lines inside you know like i want to show you guys even if i go in too harsh it's not gonna look i swear it's not gonna look like this this is like five friends 
I can literally buy I don't know how many pencils I don't know how many pencils I'm gonna buy like I would, would have bought with the money with the money that I used for this pencil like I was so sure that my brow game is gonna change I'm gonna be like on the moon I mean it's fake beauty so now I'm just gonna attempt to actually um, be harsh on the outer part of my brow you know just to sort of like at least compensate what's going on on this side so I'm just gonna make sure that everything is intense now and try to fill it in a little bit more darker this is like not a the perfect brow I don't really like smashing on products more especially the fact that she just started with this brand like I just don't want to be the one saying no the product is not nice but you guys this channel we are honest in this channel we say how it is I'm sorry just want I just want to see if at least y'all I'm gonna like be happy at least afterwards okay it's moving <laughs> when I'm applying gel on it the black actually fades like towards the end in gel like when I brush my pencil the product just moves it's gone like <laughs> Okay, let's do the same method on the other brow. So I'm just gonna apply the same pressure. I'm just gonna do what I normally do, y'all. Let's attempt to redraw the brow. And right now, y'all, I'm gonna be super gentle with this. The reason why I bought this baby is because I thought I'm gonna have strokes. Can you guys see that? Like, I am trying. Let me just hold it towards the end so that I have less pressure on it it's so I actually went off cam to try to fill in again to actually bring them back and <laughs> this is what I ended up with so I've learned in my journey of applying brows to actually fix a brow through like this one already like you can already see it's thick but I know after concealer it's gonna look okay. Let's try to save it by a concealer. The concealer that I'm using is by, it's by LA Girl. I'm gonna go in with my chestnut uh, foundation and I'm just gonna like outline the top part of the brow. I mean, if your carving game of brows is not on point, y'all, it's a loss for you. Like, you are going to lose this is a battle. As you can see, you guys, after I have cleaned, everything is looking pretty much great. It's looking really great, actually. Okay, I know my brows are sort of joining right now, but you guys, I was trying to actually fix this. So this is how everything is looking after the concealer. And I would say that um, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, okay, like, hear me out before you can conclude. I know my the other brow is too dark. I know that. Okay. After concealing, it doesn't look bad at all. Other the fact that it's too dark okay and again can you see what's going on on the other eye? it's not like it's dark but it's not too dark and you can still see the lines you can still see my hair breathing like yo I'm not sure if it's preference or what but do you see some little hairs going on towards the front that will never happen when you are using this pencil so I mean choose your struggle whether, whether you want this part which is 99.99 or you just want to like go in with a pencil that is smooth and stuff for five friends I'm not promoting that you guys I'm just saying if I can compare the two it's totally too bad I cannot come here and tell you guys to draw your brows brown or lightly so as long as if you like the darker one then go for it girl but I wouldn't recommend this I'm sorry next so i am back you guys i know i have a dramatic look going on that is because i was filming this look it's gonna go in next week just keep on tuned in i know it's dramatic if you're not into drama just also keep on just also 
tune in to watch how I do the art, you know, just for your eyes. So let's keep on moving with the review. I've got like three lippies going on here and they are all so beautifully packaged, they're so nice and I'm gonna start with the lip gloss. So this lip gloss is number six, it's called hashtag number six, I'm just gonna open it. Oh, I open it from below and this is how it's looking y'all it's so beautiful it's called fair beauty safe catch safe catch hey i nearly read that in tone guys so i'm just gonna open that oh it looks so nice so i'm just gonna do what i normally do before i apply anything i'm just gonna go in with the highlighter first this one that i'm using is by um black radiance I, i'm just gonna highlight the top lip i usually just do that so that i can see what i am doing so now let me just apply this on my raw lips crusty lips and i just want to see how it applies the pigment is on point you are it's like a rose gold it's like a rose gold lippy y'all like mm. I'm trying to layer it to see how it's gonna look. It's like a metallic lip gloss. It smells really wonderful. It applies smoothly. It, guys, I swear, this is the beautiful car. Like, more especially when I'm going in with very dramatic looks, I really stand this lip gloss, y'all. So, that is that. That is how the lippy is apply i love it it's beautiful and we've got the um matte lips and i'm just gonna apply it's got like a very nice packaging that is like silver the packaging is insane y'all so we've got another product right here this one is the um matte lip so it's called faith and nude so it comes with the top part where you can um, open up oh that is a lot this is like a lip liner on top i stand that that is beautiful and then when you open you've got a lippy thingy you've got the lip gloss itself so let's just put that into test so now i am just going to outline my lips a nude pink i'm not sure if you guys can see it on cam but it's like a nude pink pink liner it's not too bright i usually go with nudes because i am looking for colors like this so oh okay okay this is really pigmented so if you are looking for less product if you are looking for a lesser pink you may want to use less at the time this lippy you guys it's a matte lippy it's drying really beautiful can you guys see that oh, it's not making my lips super dry it is also um so beautiful it's a beautiful color like my lips are not even cracking yo like with most matte lipsticks i literally have lines going on and cracks the lines that i have here are natural and they're so nice it is not super sticky it, it is a little bit sticky but it's not something that is making me feel uncomfortable with Next up is the Fair Beauty Matte Lipstick, Intense Matte and Comfort Lip Color. Um, where is the number? This one is number 23. It is the matte lipsticks and it comes in this box. This is how it's looking uh, when you open and if you lose this lid, it just looks like a regular design lipstick. As long as you don't lose this so that you can be able to see which of your lipsticks are you using. I'm just gonna go and apply this oh okay it's so nice it smells so beautiful guys application is super easy i'm not lying like this is just one layer and it's like when you have makeup when you don't have makeup on and you just want something to apply this is like giving me that vibe it's like so muted and it's buildable like you can start from little to more the hmm it really smells good it's so nice and i just want to like top it with 
the gloss because you know most of the time i really like to gloss it up i'm so sorry guys i'm not looking at you like directly that is because the bees like i'm trying to like show you guys how this thing is looking okay so i'm just gonna apply the gloss the combo is the bomb i love this i love this actually hmm hmm so that is it from this video you guys my final thoughts on this product the eye pencil the eyebrow pencil i out of 10 i would give it a one just for efforts you know for it to finally have like drawn the brow itself you know one for the efforts i will not talk much about that or like no i would never wish for anybody to buy that at all unless if you just want to have like a fair beauty to to at least have something that is from a faith and uh, you really like to uh, uh, use a black liner or uh, maybe you have a better application and i mean i'm not doing it correctly correctly maybe you may just comment down below and, and tell me how to apply this product because most of the pencils that i'm using I apply it the same way and they don't give me this much problem especially that the fact that i can compare it to five friends uh liner guys like no i cannot just like i can buy like almost 90 pencils with that pencil so you know yeah so that is that so let's move to the next product the next product that i really love is the lip gloss or the lip gloss the one that i'm wearing right now that one i give it a 10 out of 10 guys it's so beautiful it applies beautiful it is smooth it is so nice on my lips and it's my favorite from this things that are just here this collection that is here with me now it's so beautiful i love so another uh product that i really love it is the lipstick the matte lipstick it's so nice more especially when you don't have intense makeup as well as well as when you have intense makeup i feel like it goes on both ways i really love i would give it a 10 as well it's so beautiful i love it and another product that i will talk about is this fair beauty uh matte lips as well and the lipstick dries so wonderfully guys like many lipsticks that are matte it uh dries you out and you cry you can actually feel the intensity of the product so this lipsticks she nailed it she did it they're so on point i love the fact that they're so beautiful they apply beautiful they smell good and the price is okay for the product that one i it's a yes for me so shipping oh my god oh my god God. Okay, when I ordered, when I did receive an email, that's okay. No tracking number whatsoever. Like, guys, like, yeah, I just had to wait. The next thing I receive a call, like, a week later, saying that your person is here. I'm like, what? I didn't receive any number. And then I went ahead and texted. Before that, actually, guys, I actually texted uh, the page, Fair Beauty Cosmetic page on Instagram. On Instagram, I DM'd them and then asked them to... I placed an order, like, a week ago or so. I don't remember the dates, what I said. But listen what they say. Good day, Tato. Your goods dispatched last week already. We will get your reference number to follow up with your courier. We will also be trying. This is your contact number, right? And they write my contact number, guys. Tato. Like... Please call me Tat. I think the name suits me better, guys. Like, mm. okay, yeah. Thank you for your response. Thank, thank you for like taking care of your customers. But I'm not Tato. I didn't get the the checking number whatsoever at all. So it was just like a waiting game. But anyways, yeah. So that is it from this review, actually, guys. Like, let me stop talking too much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Also, click on the notification button to get notified whenever I upload a video. Please also be notified that I upload every Tuesday and every Friday. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy your day and more, more days. I don't know what I just said, but anyways, see you guys.